to my channel today we're gonna explore together the Revine Failed Village and this is a complete guide exploration of this area to show you exactly what you can expect from it because you've probably been here it's a pretty tough area to be and in case you haven't been here where well, you're gonna see if it's even worth your time so welcome to my channel if you're new please consider subscribing and please like the video it does help me a lot to support a small small channel And I won't, don't want to miss anything, so I'm going to take my time because I just want to show you literally everything that is. I'm wondering if we can get over there. It doesn't seem like we can. Right, so let's see what's happening over here. Get a smithing stone for good to have. I think you get something for defeating these guys as well. Let me just be sure of it. Let's see what we get for defeating these guys. First of all, they are mining over here, so there's another smithing stone for. It's a very good place to be if you need smithing stones four or five. So that's pretty good to know. Explore, yeah? So look carefully after every single item, every single rock, every single battle, destroy everything in order to find everything. You don't want to miss a thing, especially in the beginning of the game. If you're in your first gameplay, then it's super important. That guy is waiting for me. He thinks I don't see him, but I do. Right. I'm going to have some more of these, I'm pretty sure. Smithing Stone 3. You get poisoned as well, obviously. It was a trap, but I don't really care. I don't worry too much in this game, I just enjoy it. And so let's see what else can we find over here. You have another smithing stone 4. So, so far smithing stones 3, 4 this is what we find. And it's beautiful to have them. Whoop! fellow was charging over there. There you go. This is how you properly charge. An attack. And what do we have here? Nothing, nada, nicht. Let's go upstairs. And let's see what we find over there. Well, this is a long elevator. Let me see if I can actually cure this, uh, this poison thing. No, I don't have anything. Well, that's just perfect. Right, let's continue our journey. And what is that? No, nothing. Right. Gonna kill all these guys for you guys just to be 100% sure you're not gonna miss anything when you come over here. So they do throw, throw rocks at you and uh, pretty dangerous. They have cracked crystal, it's a crafting material, and then you have golden room 5 is good. Be careful with this guy because he has a passion with his flamethrower. Obviously he doesn't impress me. Nice. Cracked crystal once again. There should be a boss over here as well, I think. There, we have something over there, something over there, and a guy over there. Um, right. Walking right into a trap, so please be careful. And let's see. Lightning grease, so it is a beautiful trap. You don't even get something important. Gonna kill this guy for you guys. Cracked crystal, some more cracked crystal. Over here we have smithing stone 4. 
somber smithing stone for. So beautiful, beautiful rocks to get. Items to have, especially in the beginning. There's another trap over here, I'm pretty sure. Right. I can already hear the guy. I didn't see him. Right, there's another one. Of course. Nice. Runark. Very good to have, especially when confronting bosses. You do want to confront the bosses. And you want to use the rune, this way you benefit from whatever the rune you're using is giving you. I've seen a lot of people that didn't understand what the rune arc is for. So in case you didn't know, now you know. It's good that with this occasion you can see even the amount of runes you get per enemy, so it's for you to decide if it's worth your time or not. Another Samba Smithing Stone 4. Good to have, and now we are into Ruin Strewn Precipice with an item over here, and I'm gonna shoot another video on that one as well, so. Uh, see you next time.